Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. How you doing, fight fans? EJ Boxing Live here, and we're here to cover a web. What's his name? Moonshake. Uh, what's it? Shay Ta Munsa. Um, basically, he's the guy that beat Floyd Mayweather's record of 50, 50 and 0. He's got 51 and 0. Um, I'm actually watching his fight right now um, against Pedro. Was it Pedro? What's his name? Pedro. What's it? Tan Tan Tando. Uh, Duran. Pen Tendo Tadero. Whatever his name is. Yeah. So where is it? Which one is it? Okay. So I'm watching this dude here. He's like 32 years of age, and and this basically is his 50. He's 50 and 0. The thing is, yeah, you're looking at these dudes, yeah, like in Thailand and stuff like that. Nicaragua, Chocolito. No, for these guys, there. No one knows like who they are. They fight away. You know, if you're gonna make a name of yourself, you need to fight in America. Um, and now the thing is, yeah, in the flyweight division or minimate minimum weight, that's what they call it. But it's flyweight, right? Flyweight. Um, normal flyweight. Sorry, strawweight. It's a strawweight division, which is the lowest division in boxing, by the way. Uh, the the opponents, yeah, they get are not the same caliber as they are as welterweight, lightweight, super feather. They're just not the same caliber. Right? And if they are, as you know, that, that when you're in that division, you come to America or you make a big splash in the, in the Western Hemisphere, like England and stuff like that. Now, because we don't know him in Thailand, whatever, he's, he's pretty good, this guy. He's a pretty good fighter. Not gonna lie, I'm not going to lie. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's all right. He's a bit stiff. Right? It's the you're the lack of opposition. So let's talk about Floyd, him and Floyd Mayweather. I've had enough. I'm watching his fight right now, and to be fair... Um, Floyd Mayweather is not just the 50 or no, it's, it's the pound for pound the best in boxing. So they're about in any weight class, if they could beat any weight, same or weight, then Floyd would probably have the advantage of beating most of these guys, which is pretty in and uh, pretty good because at the end of the day, Floyd started at Super Feather and went all the way up to World Weight 154. He actually went up to Super World Weight, so that's 154, and beating um, the best opposition available, regardless of when the timing was or whatever be the best available so the, the guy we're talking about here it's just something to talk about but in terms of like pound for pound he's okay but he ain't skillful like floyd or none of that um let's talk about when he became a champion man let's talk about when this guy became a champion because oh let me see when this this dude became a champion all right let me see what it is he became a double bc champion in 2014 right so 2014 and all of his fights since that thus far since then have been in Canada. He hasn't come out of Canada. He's been there the, for the longest. And he's the champion before him, um, Oswald Navarre, he, he, he traveled. He went to Canada, China. Where's it? What country is that? Oh, he went to Dubai. He went to Japan. No, no, no. That's, that's actually, I've gone too far, actually. No, no, actually, the other champion. Actually, the, to be fair, the other guys before him, they don't even hold the belt. Because Yuka Aokano beat Akura Gashi. He fought, he barely fought in Japan. Remember, these weights are just lowest weights in boxing. It's very hard. Yeah, there's guys in there. But why isn't he unified, though? Why haven't you unified? Like, if you're going to compare him to... Uh, I mean, <laughs> anyone 50 and old, like, and you're a champ, the OBC champion from 2014, that's, that's, that's not easy to do to hold the belt. But you're, you're basically fighting in your backyard all the time. Man, like, you know, you're fighting at home every fight against guys really and truly. Who's this guy he fought? Like, these guys here, like, I have to get Nato out here, man. I'm going to have to get Nato out here to just tell me who these dudes are. Uh, it's got some knockout, some went the distance. You can, like, Floyd, hold on, let's, let's, let's talk about Floyd. How long Floyd's been the champion? This guy's only been a champion from 2014, man. 2014, so how many defenses he got? He's got one, two... I won the championship. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ten defenses, right? Ten defenses of one belt. Mm hmm Is that right? Okay. Let's do, let's talk about Floyd. Are you gonna compare him to one of the great, the goat? Yeah, it's crazy. Like the record is there, but there's not uh, no other similarity. And the thing is, he's not talking about if he wants to retire. And if he does retire, he's still not going to be compared to Floyd. Like if Floyd's more than fifty and fifty-one and or fifty oh, he's more than that record, man. It's just more. It's just more than that record. The what he, what he accomplished, yeah, is the multiple weight classes fighting the best in his era. Man, Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, Shane Mosley, Oscar De La Hoya. They're like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this name, so, so, um, Canelo Alvarez. 
still active now. Middleweight, cha the middleweight champion going for the middleweight belt. Just going against names. Manuel Marquez, Ricky Hatton, Zab Judah, uh, Arturo Gatti. Look at the names, man. Like, there's even people don't even know about Philip Undu. Let's talk about when Floyd became a champion, right? So that guy became a champion in 2014, yeah? All right? That's, that's what it says on Box Rec. So Floyd became champion against Janando Hernandez. That was in 1998, man. So 1998, Floyd has, Floyd's been a champion, right? Been a champion from 1998. That guy's been a champion from 2014. This guy's 32. How old is Floyd now? Uh, Floyd Mayweather. What's his age, man? 1977. It's 1977, so that's then... It's 40, 41? 40, 41. Is it? Yeah, 41. So Floyd's 41, that guy's 32, right? He's much younger, but in terms of accomplishment, look who Floyd became a champion, bruv. I mean, are you serious? Like, I mean, I don't know what to say. Like, you... <laughs> and then you're talking about, like, so, so you still, Floyd started super fair, talking about 140, 147, 154, all right? So there's, there's like, four-weight classes, then you've got unification bouts. There's well in between that against these great fighters. The, a lot of these guys are great. Diego Corrales, you know, a man, Emmanuel Augustus. Like this dude's not fighting the level of caliber of fighters to be even mentioned in the brain breath of Floyd, other than the other than the, the score and and like the, the the record he has. But when it's all said and done, like this dude is the, the, the Thailand fighter. I'm, I'm look. I'm not going to discredit the guy. I mean, he's he's, he's a champion. And more power to him. But listen, you gotta start if you're gonna start making a name for yourself, he's gonna have to start unifying. So let's look look let's, let's look at the guys that he's gonna have to fight face in his division to become undisputed, because that's the only thing that you can start to claim if you're gonna dare. I mean he's 32 years of age. Let's, let's have a look at him. Is he the man is he the man in his division? Yeah, they've they've got him number one in his division, right? So he's the number one, he's the man. So you got other guys in your division that gets not you got another Thailand fighter, he's the double BA champion. His name's what's it? Knockout CP Freshman. Freshmore. Why ain't he fighting him? Alright? Another guy, another guy. You got Hago Kazuda, some Japanese guy. He's 10 and 0. So other guy's 18 and 0, this guy's 10 and 0. So and this guy's 50 and 0, yeah? Alright, he's another champion. Where's the other where's the so you got the double BA? What belt is that? I don't even know what belt that is, boy. But, but he's, this guy's a champion actually. WBA belt, WBC. Okay, the WBO champion, Victor Sal Sal Salador. That's another guy you need to be looking. You can unify, man. You got, you got to do, you got to do something great, my man. If you wanna, <clears throat> you got the record. Let's go, let's go and do something great. Go unify and become undisputed in your division class. Then we, then we gonna talk, man. We gonna talk. We got CV Pacheco from South Africa. He's still in that division right there. Let's let's unify and let's see what's going on. So, like, you've got the record. Now is this this up to you now to to take it to the next level? In you got fifty one and zero. Let's take it to level and unify. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, let's see if he retires and, and this and that. But at the end of the day, you know, even if he does become undisputed, will we still give him? I give him the undisputed. You can say that boy is undisputed and he retired with all the belts and say, yeah, cool. That's that's something. He, that's accomplishment. But I mean, he's a champion and stuff like that. But you got to unify, man. You got to unify. You know, against other guys in your contemporary to, to let you know, know that maybe you're going to be the best straw weight of all time. Of all time, are you? Let's, let's go for something, yeah? Like, having a record is one. <clears throat> Fighting dust in Thailand is one. Uh, people can argue that maybe just fought in America in his pro career, but in his amateur career, he went all over the world. And he's Olympian. Um, he received the bronze medal. And didn't go, he didn't win it. He received it. And arguably he won, he should have been, you know, should have been in gold. And from then on, he's just flying a stunning, mega career. And like, this dude here, fighting America, man. I've just watched the guy fight, I've just watching the guy fight. And that skill for skills, pound for pound, is, that's not it, man. He's not the one, bro. It's just not the one. Uh, he's, you know, he's going to get, he's good at getting the, hey, listen, the little exposure to be comparison for Floyd is going to be good for his career. You know, people will be talking about him, but boy, if you've got a little exposure, you gotta take it to the next level, my man. Either come to come to America, try and get some unification bouts are going on, and let's see what's popping, bro. Um, his fights on on YouTube. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a link in the description box so you can see him break the record. You know what I'm saying? We all give props to every weight class, but you know. And the only reason we're talking about it is is because obviously uh, the record. But um, as we know, 
you talk about Rocky Marcion record as well. You know, they got names, man. You got to have names, bodies, belts, unification. Be the number one in your division. They've marked him. They've got him as the number one in the, in the division. But like I said to you, man, you you know, this could bring some unifications in, bro. See what's going on. Actually, you know what? He's taking some. He's taking some punches from this dude here, bro. You got a fellow guy in your division from Thailand, man. Let's let's start unification. Unification. There. Is he gonna go for that? I don't know. We should do. You know what I mean? So we see what's going on. I'm EJ Boxing Live. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here.